Well, welcome everybody. It is a Leo full moon. We actually had the full moon last night. And um, as I mentioned in my email for the two or three days after a full moon, we kind of still get that energy. And, you know, when you think about Leo, it's, it's such a big, expressive, fun, um, passionate, it's a fire energy. And so this full moon is really illuminating the things and the places you might've even been noticing over the last few days where you kind of are noticing places where you're holding yourself back. And maybe you didn't really realize it before, or that impulse or that urge to do things, something new and do, you know, finally, like you have the passion and the energy and you're like, I don't know where this came from, but all of a sudden there's like an urgency to kind of figure this out and to put yourself out there in a new way. Um, Sometimes this shows up in really obvious ways for people. Like if you're a business owner, a coach, I mean, a teacher, a lawyer, like anybody who stands in front of people and needs to teach or educate, um, there's there's a need for that kind of passion if we're educating others, right? You can think of a, like an actor with big Leo energy. It's like you can feel their energy coming off the screen or a teacher that stands there and is so passionate teaching their children versus a teacher who's kind of just like, you know, a robot and monotone, they just don't deliver the message quite in the same way because the energy is not there. So really all of us, whether it's just, you know, showing up day-to-day -day life for our family or in our business, we all could use more of this energy. And a lot of this energy says, yes, like, look at me, here I am, like, aren't I fabulous? And that makes people so uncomfortable. <laughs> so that's why we're going to do some tapping, tapping on this Leo energy today. Um, I want to start with doing a little bit of just journaling first. Hopefully you guys brought a piece of paper and a pen. And if not, go ahead and just like take a second and go grab or pull out your phone, whatever you want to do. So the first question I want to ask is, and I want you to answer this on a scale of zero to 10. I want you to ask yourself this question or just say the statement, I'm holding myself back from shining brightly. Zero is like, nope, I'm good. I'm a hundred percent, like hundred percent authentically me all the time. Totally good. I'm going to repeat the question because we just had somebody join. So the question is, I'm holding myself back. Or I'm sorry. The statement is I'm holding myself back from shining brightly. And I want you to answer that zero to 10. How true does that feel? So a 10 would be like, what did I say before? A 10 is like, I'm a hundred, like I'm totally blocking myself. I'm getting in my own way. I don't speak up when I want to. I'm not doing the things I want to. I'm hiding. I'm pulling away. I'm shying away from what I really want to do and what I really want to be. Right. And a zero is like, nope, I'm good. I'm totally good. I'm showing up brightly. And the next statement is kind of along that same line. I am free to be all of me. The full 100% authentic expression of me. Zero to 10. How true does that feel? And then I want you to just think about your life right now. And I want you to just take a minute to ask yourself, what areas of life do you feel like you're playing small? Where you're not bringing this big, passionate Leo energy. And of course, we're all going to carry it in different ways. We're not all going to be, my husband is like the perfect example of like just total Leo. I think he's like a Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> he's like a triple Leo. Leo. He's got like the wavy hair. He's got this loud, booming voice. He just has this really natural charisma. And we're not all, we're not all going to be that, but we can all draw on that energy and expand it. And then we're going to do today a little bit differently. Um, this is the last of the release and rise that I'm going to do for free. I'm probably going to do this like once a quarter open to the general public, um, but from now on, this is actually going to be inside of my new Align program. So if you're interested in continuing this, um, and like I said, I'll probably do it like once a quarter for everyone. So you'll just want to keep your eye out for that. But you may also want to check out the Align program information. Just sent an email about it today. Um, I sent one a few days ago. 
those emails are notor notorious for showing up in junk mail and all kinds of strange places. So if you're not seeing them, just do a quick search through your spam even <laughs> or your junk mail because it may be in there. Um, or you can go to www.kellyhow.co forward slash align and you'll get all the information there. And um, at the end of this, we are going to, I'm going to leave the video open for a second. If anybody has any questions for me about it, um, I'm happy to chat and answer it. If you have any questions about the program, the doors close for that on Wednesday night. So just wanted to let you guys know. So we're going to do a little bit of visualizing today. And I wanted to give you an idea of, we're not going to go in, as deep as we will go in the Align membership, but I do want to do kind of a deep dive um, getting into that subconscious space process today. So you can get a little bit of idea of what that, what that's going to look like. So the first thing I want you all to do is just go ahead and close your eyes. And we're going to do a little bit of just breathing and tuning in. So close your eyes and get comfortable. Really let yourself feel yourself in your chair, wherever you're sitting. Feel your feet on the floor. And I want you to just take a breath. Ah. <sighs> And just allow your mind to relax. And I want you to allow your mind to tune back. It doesn't have to be a specific memory, but I want you to just tune into maybe a two, three, four-year-old version of you. It doesn't have to be a specific memory. It could be a picture. I just want you to allow your mind to just start to tune into that energy. The little tiny version of you. Usually when we're two, three, four years old, we're still pretty much just living our authentic life. We haven't learned the things that aren't acceptable to other people. We haven't started to shut down these big channels of energy yet. Sometimes we already have, but for most of us, it's still there between two and three, maybe even four years old. So I want you to just tune into that little person. And I want you to just give them permission. You can kind of start to talk to them in your mind, even if you can't see it like a clear picture, just tune into the energy because we all sense things a little bit differently. So you may just kind of feel something or sense a vibration of something, or maybe you even see colors, but however you can tune into that, just allow that to happen. And I want you to just start a little conversation with that little person. And I want you to bring in that really loving, warm, compassionate energy that just full heart expansion, just looks at this little person and is like, I just love you for you. And I want you to have them show you how big is their energy, like with their arms, allow them to like stretch. You know, it's like that. I'm so big energy that all the kids do. Right. And probably most of them are pretty big. And then I want you to have them just be free to like really be in that energy without anyone watching. Whatever they want to do, whatever brings them joy, where they just get to really be 100% free. Maybe they're running around, playing in the mud. Maybe they're dancing. Maybe they're creating something. Just allow them to be whatever it is. They're having fun. All that passion is there, just fully bubbling through. And I want you to have them start to imagine that they go into a room and you're with, you're with that little person, but they're going to go into a room and inside of that room is everyone that's in their life. So we've got parents, caregivers, siblings, maybe even grandparents, friends, and the room is full of these people. And I want you to see this little person go into the center of the room and just do all of that same stuff, all of that same big, passionate energy. Maybe they're singing, dancing, laughing, playing, running around. And then I want you to even imagine that they get up on top of a coffee table and they throw their hands out in that big energy and they say, look at me, aren't I wonderful? And they're just a little kid, right? Like so excited. And then I want you to look around and see what happens to the people around them. How do they receive that energy? You might have some people that are smiling. You might have other people that are telling you to get down, to be quiet. And I want you to feel into your physical body and see how you feel that hits you when you see people look at you and that are disappointed. They don't want you doing that. 
Maybe they're telling you to get down. Little kids don't act like that. And I want you to see if you can feel that hit your system. And maybe even someone says, you are too much, too much energy, too much noise, too much fun, too much. It's distracting. Okay. And I just want to, I would just want to see, you can just kind of nod your head. Can you feel that hit your system? Does that feel uncomfortable at all? Okay. So for some of us seeing that happen, it's going to be an eight or a nine. It's going to hit you right in the stomach. Like, oh, I can't do that. And this just starts to show us where our programming shows us that we're not allowed to carry that kind of energy. Not that I would ask you to do that as an adult, but wouldn't it be nice to have access to that kind of energy sometimes <laughs> to be able to play and have fun and be excited to like get up in front of your class or get out there and do a video for your business or just to like move through your day, go for a workout, whatever it is, right? So I want you to just stay and tune back into that little person that we're working with. And we're going to start tapping and doing a little bit of voicing for her. Okay. I don't think we have any men on the call today. <laughs> So I want you to just start on the top of the head and repeat after me. Okay. There it is. All that energy. I really do want to shine like that. I've always wanted to. Maybe I wasn't allowed to. Maybe I tried to. And I got shut down. And then go to the inside of the eyebrow. I can feel it now. My energy contracts. Even though I want to express myself like this. I learned a long time ago. That it's not acceptable. I'll disappoint people. I'll make them mad. It's too much. I can't ask for attention like that. I can't say I'm fabulous. I can't let myself do that. It breaks all the rules in my family. On the outside of the eye. No way. I wasn't allowed to do that. Some of the people are happy. Maybe a few people like it. But all I can focus on is the other people. They don't want me acting like this. They want me to stay small to go away, find something else to do. They don't want me expressing my energy like this. Under the eye, I broke all the rules. I'm not supposed to act like that. But there's a part of me that really wants to. I want to let that passion come through me. I want to feel like I'm fabulous. I want to be confident. I want to have that energy that says, look at me. But it wasn't okay. So I pull back. I hold myself back under the nose and I've been doing it since I was a little person I hold myself back it doesn't feel safe to let this kind of energy come through on the chin maybe it feels safe with some people but I want to bring this out a little bit more 
maybe a lot more. I could use this kind of energy every day. But I learned so long ago to shut it down, to lock it down tight, to be appropriate, to be quiet, to hold back my light. And I don't want to do that anymore on the collarbone. I'm tired of playing small. I'm tired of holding back. I want to be all of me. And right here, right now, I'm honoring this pattern. I learned that it wasn't okay. But I'm looking at it. I'm working through it. And I know this is in the past. And as I shine light on this, as I tap and let these emotions come through, I start to shift everything. Maybe I really could feel safe bringing all of me to the table under the arm. I would love some more of that energy. And so I'm just letting that move through me now. That big passion, self-expression that says, here I am. I'm ready to shine. It hasn't felt safe on some level for my entire life. It shows up in certain situations, in certain people. And now I can see where this comes from. So the top of the head, I can see where these programs started. And I'm working on releasing. It feels so good to let this energy move through me. I don't want to carry this anymore. Inside the eyebrow. I don't want to carry this anymore. I'm ready to set myself free. I can see how much I've been holding myself back. Outside of the eye. And I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm releasing all the sadness behind this. Because now I can see so clearly. I really do want access to that energy. And I don't want to hold myself back anymore. Under the eye. All this constriction. This contraction. That I learned to do. Locking down my own energy. I'm opening that back up now. And I'm all grown up. I can be discerning. But I'm releasing the automatic lockdown. Under the nose, freeing myself up. Letting this old energy go. Letting these old programs go. On the chin. That was then and this is now. And I'm all grown up. And now I get to choose. And I'm working on feeling safe. Bringing all of me to the table under the collarbone, maybe a little bit at a time, maybe a lot. Wouldn't it be amazing if I could really let this go and free myself up to have more of this energy? 
letting the old programs go, releasing all the sadness, maybe even frustration, because I can see how much I've been holding myself back. And I don't want to do that anymore. Under the arm. So I'm setting myself free. And that's so exciting. Maybe even a little bit scary. And I'm honoring that fear too. Go to the top of the head. It is scary. What if someone says no? That's not okay. What if they say you're not fabulous? What if they say you're too much? Ugh, I would hate that. Inside the eyebrow, but I'm working through it. Maybe that's their issue. Maybe that's their programming. Maybe that's how they hold themselves back. And I can let that be their issue. Outside of the eye. It might still be scary. But I'm working through the fear. Giving myself full permission to lean into this Leo energy. Feeling more confident than I've ever felt before. Some people might not like it. Because screw them. I'm all grown up now. I don't have to contract. I can notice what they're doing. They're trying to push my energy down. And I can say, no, I don't want to let you do that. I'm under the eye and I can breathe into my body and hold a boundary. That's their programming. That's their issue. And they're showing me how they hold themselves back. So I'm setting myself free. Releasing them to be on their journey. Wherever they are with things. And releasing myself. To be right where I am. Fully opening up to this Leo energy. Because Leos are a little bit self-centered. But you know what that also means? If we can open up to this energy, it means more self-love. Because you have to be a little bit self-centered to love yourself. We don't have to be narcissists. But it's okay to let that in under the nose. And the more I love myself, the more people around me can feel it. And I give them permission to feel even more of that self-love, to let even more of that self-expression out, to let them embrace that Leo energy. And on the chin, wouldn't that be amazing? So I'm taking a big, deep breath, letting go of everything that doesn't serve me. That was then, and this is now. I'm all grown up, honoring my patterns, but giving myself permission to shine, to say, look at me, aren't I wonderful? All eyes on me. And I'm okay with that. That's what Leo energy is all about. Under the collarbone, giving myself permission to be charismatic. Excited. Full of life. Full of laughter. Full of passion. Raw energy. 
so much so that other people can feel it. I infect them with this kind of energy. And I love that idea. I can already feel it rising inside of me. And it feels so good. <laughs> okay, take a big deep breath. <sighs> Hi, Morgie. <laughs> my niece is on the call. I can see her on the screen. She's saying my name. <laughs> How did that feel, you guys? Does anybody want to share in the comments in the chat box? Did you feel a release? Did you feel a contraction at all with the... When you looked at that, you know, that moment with the little girl shining, did you feel anything contract inside? And if not, then you guys are pretty, pretty solid. The first time I did that exercise, I felt like somebody had kicked me in the gut. Wow. It's, it's a, it's an interesting process, right? It's so interesting how just even tuning into like a snapshot, like we don't even have to go back to specific memories, but, but a lot of that energy and a lot of that emotion and a lot of that programming will come right to the surface when we just give it permission to have space. Um, so I'm curious. Yeah. Leslie said she could feel it in her stomach. That's, I mean, that's right where it hits you. It's like right in that third chakra and that energy like closes in and says like, Nope, it's where we literally just like suck all of it in and it just goes right to our gut. So did you guys feel the expansion that came after kind of giving yourself permission? Did it start to let go? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, I think we're about out of time. Um, let's do one more thing before we jump off of here. So go ahead and close your eyes again. And I want you to just tune back in. I'm not going to have you go do any more like deep tapping, but I do want to just kind of close out the the session with the little person we're working with. <laughs> so go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to just tune back into that little girl that we're working with and just see how she's doing. And even if she's still feeling a little bit down or sad, feels like the people around her don't understand. I want you to let her know that you are going to be there for her. And I want you to say, I am so proud of you. I love that energy. And I give you full permission to bring more of that to the world. And not everybody's going to understand, and that's okay, because the right people will understand. And I give you full permission to bring it to the table, and I will be here to support you. Okay. And how did that make them feel? Yeah, they're usually like, yes, finally, <laughs> finally, right? Could you feel that too? Like when that little girl smiles back and is like, really? You're like, you're going to be here? Like, this is okay? Usually we can feel the energy rising up because this kind of energy is not a thinking thing, right? Like we can think confidence. We can think, oh, I'm so confident. But it's totally hollow unless we actually feel it, unless we feel that passion. We can speak passion. But, you know, like I said, if you have a teacher that's just kind of up there going through it, but they have no energy coming through them, it doesn't come from the head. It comes from those lower chakras. And we program those lower chakras um, in those really early years. So that's why it's important to go back and look at that stuff and release the energy and then give them the information and say, listen, it is okay. Not only is it okay, like I'm proud of you. That energy is there for a reason. It will serve you well. And I want you to take that and bring it to life. And they're usually like, whoa, that's so cool, right? So in the deep dives in the Align membership, we go, we'll go we go much deeper. Those calls are going to be more like 60 to 90 minutes. So we're going to do even more of that. Um, there'll be one of these a month. There'll be that deep dive. There's going to be a QA and a and um, what I'm calling like a tappy hour. So probably for those that'll be like whoever can show up live, we'll do the Q&A like recorded and then um, we'll turn the camera off for the, the, the tapping that comes afterwards, but that'll be your chance. You know, if only one or two or three people show up, you can ask me questions. If you have a specific thing you want help working through um, I'm happy to do that with you. If you're okay with like whoever else is on the call and, but it won't be recorded. That'll be private. Just, just for the people that are on live. Hi. I love seeing all the little girls pop on. I love it so much. Does anybody have any questions? You're welcome to unmute or um, type in the chat box. 
if for some reason you're still feeling that contraction, it's okay. That just shows you that this is really a point that you need to focus on and um, that there's more to that story there. And I would really just recommend continuing to tap and voicing whatever the physical feeling is. So if you still feel that contraction in your stomach, you can just tap and say, this tightness in my stomach, this tightness in my stomach, this feels really uncomfortable, um, this tightness in my shoulders, whatever it is. So just kind of voice and acknowledge what's going on in your body. And then also tap and voice and I'll continue to do my work. I'll come back and find out more. And usually when we acknowledge the issue and we acknowledge what's going on in the body, it will start to soften and move away because it's like, there's a part of our subconscious that needs to be acknowledged and is like, okay, she's listening to me. <laughs> there's, you know, she's going to come back and work on this later. Okay. Maybe. All right, guys, we'll, we'll call it for tonight. Thank you so much for showing up and have an awesome evening. Bring that Leo energy to the table. We all need it. I want to see you all shining out there. <laughs> Bye guys.